Hey there, it's Manstrel, and does something feel weird? Yeah, my aim is off. There's a few reasons for that. You noticing something, though? Yeah? Yeah, that's right. I'm using stompies. But no, not just any ordinary stompies. Stompies. But with zero airborne effect in this penalty. That's right. As of right now, for three more seconds. I... Now make that ten seconds. I have zero airborne effect in this penalty. So, what that means, I can go crazy farming the AFKs. Hitting actual headshots. Now, I don't care if this is AFK bot lobby. Look at these headshots, dude. It's crazy. Anyway, what is going on? I'm, I'm not smoking something. I promise. It's Whisper of Hedrons. If anybody is going to get any uh, value out of everything... Aw, oh, man, that was so close. If I shattered Dove, he would have died. That was 200 IQ. That would have been insane. I pressed the Shattered Eye button, but no, I didn't. Not in time. Yeah. So this game's not very good, I don't really care. It was just a bunch of AFK people, but... You know, the point's been demonstrated. It's good enough. What I need to do is just freeze somebody, then I have all the airborne effectiveness in the world. By all the airborne effectiveness, I mean 28, or however much. I'm confident nobody will find me, but... Alright. Look at that! Look at these headshots, that's crazy. Zombies feel really good, which is scary, because if I get used to them, that means I will have a kind of hard time going back to anything else. But I'm not that scared. I am scared of that, though. I think I saw a void over here. Nope. Eh, it's so dumb. Wow, I only have 10 kills? Rumble feels like it's going so much slower whenever nobody plays the game. And it's only, like, the sweatiest of the sweats. Because everybody can actually get kills. That is, if they're not AFK. Oh man, I'm using stompies. I can, like, jump higher. Now, that sounds obvious, right? It sounds obvious, right, that I can jump higher? But what it means is I can uh, stand on crystals higher on the on the wall, so then I can jump even really higher. Bounce that off? Nope, it just hit. Crouch, they think I'm leaving. Oh my god, you're so scary. What if I just pull sword ammo because you're playing like a little bizitch? Yeah, check me out. I dare you to come at me. Alright, you're over here. Screw you. I need this ammo, then I'm gonna shatter dive some fools. Better skates. Gosh darn it. My sword wasn't pulled out in time, so even though I shatter skated, I didn't do the full zoop because it wasn't pulled out. Ah, I might die. Ooh, bot walk. Yikes. Did this turn out to be a good game? Probably not. That's... That's up to you to decide, I don't really care. But... Proof of concept has been shown. What are you looking at? Oh boy. 
Is that a super? No. I'm out of here. I know you're behind me. I don't care anymore, though. Turn around. Oh, no. I'm extra toxic today. All right. Fun time using Shatter Dive again. It's a lot of fun being able to jump around higher in the air. Anyway, as I was saying, was that perfect gameplay? No. Some AFK farming, but, you know, I got the point across. Plus 50 airborne effect on this Stompies does come in clutch, and Shatter Dive is some crazy movement. So if you really want to get into it, go to your button layout, find your dodge, hunter dodge ability, slap the unbind button, and now you can have permanent stompies, but with permanent airborne effectiveness, zero penalty. Starting next season, just unbind your dodge. Now, honestly, it's tough because you lose your dodge. So if you're on console where everybody's on controller, you lose the ability to break aim assist, which is very strong. It's why dodge is one of the strongest class abilities. It's, it's stronger on console because everybody's on controller. <laughs> Except the Zimmers. Um, whereas on PC, if you're on MNK, it's it's a lot easier to actually track a, a dodging guardian. So, is there anything else I want to say? Well, honestly, yeah. Whisper of Hedrons gives plus 50 airborne effectiveness. So, that entire game I had, well, pretty much 28 airborne effectiveness. Stompies gets changed next season. If I keep playing the exact same way, I will have 78 airborne effectiveness, which is kind of crazy. On top of that, Stasis Hunter gets an extra fragment because you have Shatter Dive. If you unbind your dodge, make sure you run Shatter Dive. This is a spammable dodge ability, essentially, but it comes back every 4 seconds instead of 16 or whatever a dodge does. There's actually one more thing as well. If you do decide to unbind your dodge, make sure to use a surplus weapon if you really want to reap all the benefits. I don't have anything on me that is surplus that I use, but just know that and keep that in mind. A surplus weapon is going to do you much better just because, you know, you'll get that extra benefit. You have two shurikens. If you really want to go crazy, unbind your melee as well. Now you have a permanent plus 50 handling and a plus 25 stability. And mega reload speed as well. Surplus would be juice, but you'd lose all your abilities except your grenade. But you'd have permanent plus 50 handling. So you know what? You can make the worst situation into something honestly okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to check out the build, um, I will flash the mods I use. The Discord link is under the description where you can find all my dim links, this build included. I just showed you the fashion as well. This is my goofy sweat build. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I respect your time. I hope you guys have a nice day. Enjoy your week. Good luck with finals if you have any. I'll see you in the next video.